Kayla and Jim. Welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. Today we are going to be discussing what's in our camera bag. That's right. All the technology that we currently use. You know, we, we normally do the Meteo side of Meteotech, but now we're doing the tech part of Meteotech. Get it? Cause <laughs> Meteo tech. Meteorology. Technology. <laughs> Here we is. So this is our camera bag. The camera bag. It holds the camera things. So this is all of our chasing stuff. We're going to be going through all the technology we use to A, chase, and number two, film. All of that. <laughs> so and let's open it up. That's right. And before this, you kind of had a, a backpack where you kind of jammed this everything in. was my old school <laughs> backpack from college where I just threw everything in there, wrapped things up in my raincoat, and hoped for the best that nothing would break. <laughs> it was very low budget. <laughs> ah, but now there's actually a camera bag with compartments and, you know, there you go. Safety. So, your standard so. camera bag. Here it is. And so we got a zipper on the side. We'll start with this one here. Is Come there... The zipper. What do we got in uh, here? What do we got in here? just put miscellaneous stuff in there. What, what did I put in there? There's... What is this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So this is um a very good tool to have while you're chasing. This is just a multi-tool. And uh, this comes in handy when your windshield wipers are falling apart and you have to cut part of it off in the middle of downpouring um, because you can't see because the little thingy is, the, the rubber part is. Do you think we know that from experience? <sighs> That's a story for another time, oh. but. It's our chase vlog from. <laughs> A month or so ago. <laughs> so we do have a little pocket well, on the, the pocket side. The pocket here is normally for the tripod, but we're currently using the tripod, so we'll show you that at the end. Uh, now let's go ahead and get into the big stuff. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's kind of so, heavy. There we go. All right. So, so. The, uh, the, the heaviest portion. So we've got all the little compartments here. And then the heaviest part over there, we'll get that out of the way so you don't have to carry that part for very long. It's very heavy. That's all right. All right, so go ahead and discuss all these little parts here. Yeah, so there's all these little compartments here. Normally, um, normally the camera's in there, but we're filming on the camera. And we'll go through it piece by piece. So the first thing, the most important thing uh, when it comes to editing is... Dun dun dun! The laptop. <laughs> A good... <laughs> Laptop. I, of course, am partial to Macs, so mine is a MacBook Pro, and it's got all the editing software on here for pictures, videos, and all the stuff like that. A lot of times you'll see us watching our videos when we do our Meteorologist Reacts on there. Essential piece of equipment. That's right. In fact, all of our videos, we do all the editing on there, yep. so there you go. Yep. Essential tool. Essential tool. There you go. What's next? Next thing, going off of there, is, of course, our hard drives can't do any of this stuff without a lot of storage space. So we've got two hard drives here. I think we've got a terabyte and a half so far. And I've got my cool little radar scope sticker on there from uh, when we went to Weather Decision Technology. What else we got? Of course, we've got our chargers and extra batteries because you can't go chasing without extra batteries because once upon a time we did this with one battery. <laughs> yeah. And once upon a time we ran out of battery. <laughs> and once upon a time we ordered another battery. So that's now for the camera. That's a camera another, battery. Now we have another camera battery. So that's good. In fact, yeah. our chase that we did uh, a month or so ago, yep. we actually wound up using up a whole battery yep. and and uh, a we whole used, uh, SD card yeah. that was what, 32, was yeah. it 32 or 64 gig? I forget. We've got a 32 um, gig SD card, and that's the one that's in the camera currently. And then I've got an extra 16 right here. And yeah, we went through we both of those. Up. So a battery <laughs> and an SD card, so yep. Yeah. I think we went through a battery and a half and both SD cards, so. Yep. Yeah, um, extra SD cards, extra batteries. You can never have too many of those. They're like water for chasers and filmers. That's right. Definitely make sure you have those. But what should we do next? Um, Let's see, that's just, what is this? Yeah, here? this is, uh, this is a new toy that I got that I've only used a few times. So this is my ND filter. And what is ND filter? What is that? This is a neutral density filter. So it's just a little um, attachment that goes on the camera lens there. 
and it blocks out sunlight and stuff gives us nice like um, waterfall pictures or smooth glassy ocean water it lets you take long exposure pictures in like broad daylight one of these is good to have this is more on the photography side than the filming side but I'm excited to play around with this when we have a storm that's the newest edition would that be useful for lightning pictures this could definitely be useful for lightning pictures I'm sure you gotta play around with all the different things because this will let you um, set timers for longer when you're taking pictures. Speaking of SD cards, we might have to swap them out soon because this one's running out. Oh <laughs> um, no! Space. Next thing! Flash drive, which is necessary for all of the flash drive needs. This Transferring is... files back and forth from one device to another, from one computer Basic. to another. Sick. Yep. Flash drive. Yep, Thanks. exactly. Um, we're coming to the what last this few things. This guy right here. This is our, what even is this one? This one is our 55 to 200 millimeter lens. So this is what we use when we zoom in on um, like real specific storms off in the distance or we get those like detailed cloud pictures. Um, this one we don't really use for filming because we use the wider angle one so that you can see both of us. Otherwise, keep with this on the camera, you just see like <laughs> our nose. <laughs> one side of one of our faces. So yeah, this is really good for- Now them. you've used that for, out on Instagram, we have pictures of the moon. Yeah, you've this is also really good for um, astrophotography. I use this a couple times for far away lightning mm -hmm. and storms off in the distance when we were on top of like a parking garage at the airport, you can see very far away, so mm -hmm. one of these is great to have for that. This is our tripod attachment for my phone, or dad's phone, but usually mine, when we're taking um, our time lapses. So phone sits there and attaches to our tripod, and the other attachment clip is currently on our camera, which is filming right now. But yeah, so this is what we set up if you watched our last chasing vlog. You saw, you were setting this up, I believe, um, with the time lapse going on my phone while I was taking pictures and vlogging on that, and then we kind of swapped off. So yeah, this one's perfect. Also, eventually, I guess we'll need to get a second tripod, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's easy to just quickly swap these out, one for the phone, one for the camera. All right, <clears throat> last but not least, yeah, now, this one is, it's empty, but it's a bag for our microphone that yeah. goes on the camera. So actually, now at this point, let's, uh, Let's swap it around and use this fancy gadget, and let's uh, let's set up the phone to record and show them what we use, what uh, what the big stuff is. Sounds good. So here we are on the uh, less quality. <laughs> it sounds probably not as good, but <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you probably noticed the difference in sound quality because we actually because... have the microphone uh, right here. So this attaches to the camera. The camera has uh, an input microphone port. Um, and this is, yeah, here's the difference between you know quality audio and, and not so much quality. And uh, it just points in the direction of, of where you are and it picks you up. You just have to remember to turn it on because if you don't, you'll use the audio input of the camera itself instead of your nice, newer, much better adapted microphone. <laughs> it's only happened three or four times. So that's yeah. the microphone. So that's the microphone. How about uh, you go ahead and talk about and then the camera. Dun the dun dun. Ah. There it is. So um, I don't know if you've actually ever seen the camera in anything because this is what we shoot everything on. This is a Nikon D5600. Um, it is a step above the cheapest option and a step below really expensive. So it's a good uh, in-between camera to start you off if you want good quality pictures but you don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. Um, so yeah, this is on top of that. It's got our 18 to 55 millimeter lens on it. This is what we shoot on. This is what we film everything on. This is 90% of our pictures is taken with this lens also, unless we're doing like what we were talking about, any sky, night sky, moon pictures like that. Uh, while we're recording, we have our little screen flipped out there and it's got all of our settings and everything and our tripod attachment. So while we're filming, if you want to put that together real quick. <laughs> so here it is. We're going to put the flash bulb on now. So it just uh, 
this slides right in like this, and yep. you just lock it down. And then um, the port for the camera is over here on this side, and uh, fortunately for this, there's only one port that looks like <laughs> that with that uh, cable would plug into, so you don't have to confuse it yep. like on a on a computer where it's like, is this mic in or is this speakers <laughs> out? Uh, you know, and you always get it backwards. You know? No confusion. No there. confusion on this. So here we go. This is our full setup with microphone and camera. This is it. And last but not least, we have the full setup with the camera on the tripod. This tripod is the Amazon Basics. It's like 23 bucks on Amazon, perfect, lightweight, awesome for traveling or hiking, and it's also pretty good for storms. If there's wind, we put weights on the little hook on the bottom and it holds it down pretty well. We've also got our ring light, also from Amazon, which is perfect for lighting our videos so that you can actually see us, unlike our first few videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and they're all very quick setup too. It doesn't yeah. take long at all, so when you're chasing and you have to throw the tripod up with the camera on it, we, we're literally done in seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's a really easy uh, setup, especially with the quick release plate that you saw on the bottom of the camera and on the phone mount. Uh, yeah, it's real, real simple, real easy. Perfect for the on-the-go storm chaser. That's right. So there you have it. That is what's in our camera bag. That is all the equipment that we use for filming, chasing, photography, and editing. If you like what you saw, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. If you want to follow more of our storm chasing adventures or see any of the pictures and videos that this setup has taken, head over to Instagram and Facebook. We will pop it up right there. Also in our description is a link to our Patreon. If you guys love what we do and want to support us and donate there and help us make videos like this and afford uh, storm chasing trips. Right. <laughs> and with your wipers. And with your wipers. Oh my gosh. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy teching. to the camera.